welcome everyone to the next round of the Epicent Tournament of the last few races of the round robin um, phase, which is, I think, this race plus three more, one of them yet to be scheduled. Uh, today we have the race between um, <laughs> Quantum Dark and Samayoshi. And as the dark does, Quantum will be back in a minute getting some bread, so we will be waiting with the runners getting ready for a bit longer, but both runners have a fair chance of advancing to the uh, X phase to the top 16, and currently uh, Sabo would be advancing to the first run top 16, and depending on if Quantum wins or loses, Quantum could get uh, boot uh, FF out of the top 16 team of the I think I'm going to the predictability field from Sabo as well. well. Uh, which land on the classic seat there, yeah, yeah. and, and depending on what Sabo is going to do, I will not run to go. If it won't come away with this, and Sabo has a fairly bad fight on the way back to the front of the front of the front. I want to make a spot in the front of the front of the front as well. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm going to go there later in the front, so... and not more later on. But we'll be now mostly waiting for the runners to get ready and go back. In the meantime, as you can see, both runners are running on 1432, so we might... We will see a sport room from Sawayoshi, and we might see uh, things like the vault skill in Beeson, because it's consistent on this patch. Consistent dish. And... Um, yeah, oh, yeah, of course, no backwards, side watches, which is very nice, but sadly no elevated squeeze, only possible on 1.5 because some hitboxes, like for example Devolts as well, are very weird. But hey, they work for speedrunners. Yeah. I think we should have a pretty good race on our hands today. Both, uh, uh, both runners have a pretty good PB with 35 and 35, 46 respectively, pretty close to each other as well, so this could go either way. And I myself am very excited for this uh, race, and hope you are as well. And yeah, Quantum is back. And yeah, it might be that we see some uh, connection issues on Sour's side, which is kind of sad, but that might happen, so just to prepare you, there were some issues before. But Quantum is back, so runners should be counted down in a few seconds, maybe. No, yeah. Just checking if they're ready for the countdown, and it seems like both runners are ready. Wait, so and yeah, Marcus as always restreaming. We love to hear, love uh, have a consistent restreamer, because if no one is there to restream, we always can count on Marcus. But yeah, we're now waiting for uh, someone to give the uh, ready. And then the countdown will start, and we will then see the KP arrive, yeah. We already see Quantum heading into the... Um... What is it called? Mode selection? To maybe just have a quicker real time, but doesn't matter for the total time, of course, later on. Both runners are ready and are getting counted down right now, so... They should start in a few seconds. Wait, wait, hold up. So I forgot something. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it might be because before Sawa just had the normal type and maybe not splits, maybe changing that, so not sure, but time was back. So we will should be ready in a just a few days. Those are a lot of golden files on Sawa's uh, save. What do we have? One twelve, three one twelve files all being the exact same time, so I assume those are the, yeah, those are the same files. Interesting. Just ask again if the runners are ready. Quantum ready. Marcus, counting down on quantum ready. Give us a second. Wait. Hold. Hold. Um. And so is. Sawa is already entering before uh, the counter was even going down. We just saw the five on um, in chat and now. Sawa already loading in, but Sawa with a bit of an early head start, but does not matter for the game time later on anyways, because 
that's the wonderful thing about playing Hollow Knight. The... It's our realizing they loaded it a bit early there, so I think that should be fine with what they're doing right now. Wait, something is in chat again. Oh no, it's just both runners wishing each other good luck, so... Let's wish good luck to the runners, and yeah. King's Pass is do be arriving now. But in King's Pass there is nothing special, you just break a few walls as always. Hope that uh, the bench flies do cooperate. Because you hope they either are very far in the front so that you don't have to jump down and jump back up again. So you can just jump forward, go back and then pogo or if you know if it's far enough back you can also just walk forward and then poke up it on the wall as well. But yeah, we see Quantum already heading to the uh, Venture Poker there, so Venture a bit far back and a bit too high for uh, poking onto the platform there. But heading up so far, Clean King's Pass on uh, the Quantum side and so we're now in um, and, 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 and King's Pass as well. Yeah, also I'm today your only calm. Hi, Caputo. Also participating in the tournament. And uh, yeah. So we see Quantum now leaving. Um, ooh, very nice. 5740 is a little bit King's Pass in my opinion. <laughs> More KP. A lot of KP in chat there. Another thing you can do on 1432 um, is that you can cancel your um, work. You can cancel the hard for by opening the inventory as a bit earlier than usual. Why am I cursed? Okay, I yeah, okay, I do have kind of a consequence curse. But Sawa also with a with a very nice King's Pass 0.14 seconds faster than Quantum's. And also cancelling the half for there. There was indeed a ping for missing comps. And Quantum not even going for the inventory drop, just immediately jumping down and not getting hit there, which is always good to see. And now heading to the boards, the uh, Asphalt Arena, hoping for a good double spike kill, which should be easy enough. Venture a bit, uh, bench try? Asphalt a bit high there now. And uh, a, bit, uh, a bit early on the uh, spike there. The this, as it should have spawned in at a similar time, I think, but it was just a tad bit too early. So, with a very nice inventory drop there. Oh, and getting hit by the Venture like Quantum already on the 2 HP. So, we see someone there for the arena and going for the apps, app slashes, up slashes. And, yeah. It's all there on the double spike, but gets both aspects with it, so. Very nice. Will someone get hit on the bench right there? No, okay. Yeah, so first bit as always just quick as always heading towards Fort's Knight and uh, collecting the Venture Spirit. Very nice uh, statue of the front button. And Fort's Knight is... Fort's Knight as always a boss that you just skip because we don't need to fight that in this category. We don't need the um, City Quest. And yeah, the Geo is nice, but it's not worth it because most Geo in the category is from either other boss Geo like Watcher Knight or Gorgeous Task and otherwise just uh, relics that we sell at Laminate on in the run. But yeah, so far, nice jump on Quantum Side on Fraud's Knight. Ooh, Gary there for a second, but good Fraud's Knight fight on Quantum Side. And now Sava also arriving there. waiting for the wall to be breakable, which is after the first phase. And now with a very unlucky um, jump RNG on the both sides right now. Let's see how different those um, phases will be for the runner. On a base and on a I don't know if someone in chat will keep uh, track of the delta, but we have the quantum entering it with a 31, which I think roughly translates to a 47. 347 RBS, uh, and now Sawa also heading there. But I think Sawa a bit ahead at the moment because uh, getting the double spike and yeah, roughly four seconds ahead. Nah, and no, 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 no. <laughs> got the inventory drop, didn't have problems with the aspect of the so love to see it. 
That's a very good. Um, yes, it's on both sides, and now we're hoping for the Bardos to be nice and uh, the Bardos to be nice and give us some good RNG for the spits. And I probably already cursed it, but uh, to get a Bardos spit is 50-50 uh, of either getting the mini Bardos or getting the acid, which you of course want to see the Bardos because every acid spit costs a lot of time. And it's sadly one of the things you can't do anything against in this run. But we have a very nice first hit on Quantum side. You'll have to see the short ones because there's next to no next to no momentum behind the Balder. So you can just basically stay in place and hit it and don't have to worry about it flying even further. And also very nice first split on so The exact same split RNG. Short Balder and short as split. You'd love to see it. And now heading to Green Path, where the next um, Bada awaits. So we'll we'll both of us get another nice first bit. Interesting, leaving that hit out on the. Um, okay, it worked out. Very nice girl on, on quantum side. Let's hope for so what goes. So what going right side? Very interesting. I think that's the second. I think that was the third bit. So we're going for right side, which is I think a bit faster, but also. What is Sawa doing? Oh, interesting strategy on Sawa's side, just reloading the room. Yeah, but as... Oh, I mean, you can still just join. I was a bit focused on our... Sorry, sorry Schlebby. But very nice uh, battle speed RNG on Sawa's side. As I mentioned, right side a bit faster, but also a bit more risky. Not as consistent as uh, left side, which Quantum did go for. And Quantum now... Almost arriving at the first um, skip, being uh, the first vengeful spirit uh, fireball skip on current patch, because we can't uh, skip the second bar as you do on one to two one. Yeah. Very nice. Some more. <gasps> I have a co commentator. Hi, Charlie. Hello. Yeah. I don't have to come alone. Let's go. We can go together. Yeah. Now we see both of us coming up on fireball skip as well. Ooh. Quantum missed it. Yeah, but we will see the body bounce while Sawa got it. I like body bounce. This is a brand new PV for Quantum as well. The 46? Uh, 35 in general. Ah. Nice. Love to see it. So, yeah. Now, Sawa apparently got the. Um, Someone killed them with a fireball. I don't know if that was intentional, but interesting. Very nice. Most night on quantum side. Let's see if someone also can get the quick kill there. While we see quantum heading to BFK. And hold on, too. And it's fine. Quantum now freeing Zord. According to the questionnaire, a character they he very much despises. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, Sawa healed to three, okay. Uh, probably for the better, you don't want to die on it, because Haunted is a death that goes you a lot of time. So, yeah. On the topic of Haunted, we now see Quantum entering the Haunted Arena. Nice quick kill from Sawa. So that's all that we see. A good one fight for Quantum. Ooh, I hit again. Nice double. And Sawa also now arriving. Right has Quantum kills on it. Well, not good. But... Good fight. Mm. So we're keeping Hornet in the bully corner. You'll love to see. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Can't go. I'm back. Still a clean fight for Sawa. No. Exactly, you want to have right around uh, 232 Geo, I think you you need a minimum of 206, which I think you get 14 from the Mantis Warrior, so you can have a bit less than 220, but you of course want to have more, which Quantum 2 below is very fine. Going to E-Pogo now. 
Yeah, but first we see hopefully very nice fungal drops on both sides. <laughs> I don't know my Geo, so maybe it's, you get 12 from the Mantises. I don't keep track of Geo that much, which is not good, but... I don't either. You either have enough or you don't. <laughs> exactly it. What I'm going for the hard for the... Oh, just going for the safe variant of the fungal drop. Respectable. Just thought I heard a growl somewhere in the background. <laughs> Uh, that was my dog. <laughs> but, mm. Ooh, dunking. Dunking does lose you a lot of time and could be scary on uh, the EFO, depending on how that one goes. Oh, and, saw one dunking too! Yeah. And saw dunk is one that disorients, disorients me quite a lot because I never know where you respawn there. But, do you know what kind of EFO Quantum does? Because it seems like enough so for two firewall, but... Mm, who knows if it's just backup, so... Oh, maybe even Comfy Pogo. <laughs> I should know, but I don't. Oh, 3 it Fireball, comfy okay. Pogo. Interesting. Very simple in my opinion, and also safe variant if you're not confident in 2 Fireball and 1 Fireball. Also good uh, if you just started running categories in Hollow Knight that require E Pogo. Nice Vantis Pogo as well. Clean <laughs> split for Quantum. So going for the one fireball variant, or one of the one fireball variants. And should be fine as long as they get Epogo as well, uh, Mantispogo as well. And so also with a lot of Geo, very nice. Clean splits from both runners aside from the Acid Bath. There was no Acid Bath, there's no proof for that. <laughs> but yeah, very nice splits. Think. So we're having a nine thirty something. Um, pick up. I forgot the other one. Ah, yeah. ah. Nine forty three. Thank you, Marcus. That's the quit up, not the pick up. <laughs> yeah. But... Well. Thank you, Marcus. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. That's just. It's still the same for having us keep up with the data between the runners, which is at the moment ten seconds, which is. Only half an Umu cycle. <laughs> Measuring everything in Umu cycle. Exactly. Quantum I mean, getting crossroads tag. Love to see it, not forgetting it. Now, heading towards Grossmother. Uh, quote unquote, boss site with uh, witness removal afterwards. <sighs> Ooh, a little cranky from Sawa in this room. I was focused on the Jennifer Pogo. Oh. I love the Jennifer Pogo. Quantum and... realizing they were low on Geo early enough. Okay, good. Nice. No, wait, we they were them. not. They weren't low on Geo. You know what? We got a nice Jennifer murder, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm just confused. <laughs> but. Let's see what kind of grouse cleanup Quantum gets here. Staying far away was so on our head. Ah, Rude. So we're also waiting for the cleanup now. This quantum should buy Venture Spirit, the only real upgrade we now get in this run to help us with boss fights. And... So we're also getting bullied by the Grozers. Yeah, but I think uh, so was. Uh, set up. Mm -hmm. Cleanup was just a bit faster because the Grosso State group there and nice inventory knockback concert, concerts cancels on Quantum side. Bringing Sly later for us to buy Lantern. No. Quantum oh no, died. Oh he died. What are we gonna do? I think we're going to skip into Blue Lake. Hopefully. If the shade is cooperating. Hopefully no fireballs. Mm-hmm. No! Gosh! You cursed that. Not I did me. not! <laughs> that was that was not no, that was not <laughs> RNG. Sure, sure. We'll Hopefully no fireballs in me fireballs. None from Sawa Shade. Very nice. Yeah, chat agrees. <laughs> and now just some comfortable uh blue leg uh, dashes. Just turning off your brain and pressing jump and dash. And 
upon losing a few seconds there because uh, he went back to kill the Jennifer for unknown reasons, maybe just to get a bit more geo for later in the run so they can afford to go for the Vault Skip. And we see both of us now oh. heading into Dream Plats. Well, so still takes a second part. <laughs> Dream plat RNG time. Yeah. We will see a nice uh, dream plat jump, or will they just go for the safe variant instead of taking possible 13 seconds of time loss on the first set of platforms, or I think it's 8 after. Don't quote me on the numbers. Okay. Up. Let's, let's just hope for no... I'm not gonna say it. Bad or... RNG. Yeah, no bad RNG today. Quantum not going for a dream dash? Well, kind of going for it, but also kind of not going for it. Just dash into the side of it and then into the side of the upper one as well. But Saw while it... getting dream dash. Very nice. But so far, very clean uh, dream pit RNG on both sides. Ooh, a little stumble there from Sawa. Saved. I mean, you can, you can afford stumbles, you can't afford drops. <laughs> Now, both runners picking up both the most. <laughs> both runners now picking up one of the most important items for the round, being Dreamer, which we later need for the Dreamers. And will we see nice um? Seer skips. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. It's a myth on Quantum side, but the truth uh, we see on uh, Sour side. And ooh, Quantum failing the uh, Dreamer drop and inventory drop. Just, I think, losing our right around 4 seconds towards getting CS skip, so... The I didn't know... I didn't know you could actually escape the room like that. Like, not being face-planted on the ground. Wait. Interesting. Was Sawa not face-planted? No, Quantum wasn't. No, uh, Quantum did not wake up. Uh, did wake up in CR room. Interesting. So... Quantum was, in fact, uh, did not get CS skip, but... You can get out of Seer Room with not being face planted. I had that recently, it was very confused. Weird. Yeah, now heading into city, both runners I think go for um the go for rafters. Okay, Sawa does not have it filled out, but I assume both runners will go for rafters. So Sawa we won't see. Will... I believe Sawa will attempt right side rafters. I don't know if Quantum will attempt right side. But yeah, no King Station seal for both runners. Yeah. Uh, let's see, does um, Gorgeous Hus cooperate? Because sometimes Gorgeous Hus does not want to uh, see you succeed. Yeah. I cursed it on quarter side. <laughs> yep, you sure did. Well, we currently have the tendency of cursing Quantum side of the run and not Sawas. Oh my goodness, Quantum on two. I. Eh. I assume Quantum is going for the Spire Bench, which is, as we noticed in the tournament, a very valid option and very good option because sometimes you sadly do um, end up dying to Watcher Knights, and it's better to than just lose maybe, maybe a minute to it than losing five minutes and more. <laughs> He didn't even take one heal on the elevator. I am concerned. I have I mean, no reason to be concerned. I mean, Never there's mind. no real need for it if you just had to spy a bench anyway. It's how about skipping spy so a bench? So I'm not benching. Interesting. This could be scary. Oh, Sauna also game-wise ahead of, uh, or footage-wise ahead now, not only time-wise. So, wow. But yeah. Surely Sauna will be fine. And good god, uh, gorgeous house. Mm -hmm. Great house on both sides with a few more sheet parries on bottom side. Oops, dashing away. We had a bench cycle and a non bench cycle. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Alright, oh. watchers. One of the curse scariest. counter one to one. <laughs> I can change that. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but no both elevator squeezes. Yeah, both runners are on one, four, three, two. So we also see no backwards, which is good though. Let's have a not so monka s watcher knights fight for both runners. Yes. 
Oh, mission, mission, missing a fireball there. Hmm. Hate. Oh god. So many rolls, but getting the fireballs on yeah. Sawa's side. I think the last roll was also a triple hit, which is very nice and not easy to get on current patch because yes, does have a decreased range. So, oh, almost. Almost the same RNG on both sides for that next pair. Ooh, so we're taking a few damage tanks here. And yeah, still hitting both watchers there, very good. And quantum so far, only one, yeah. Quantum so far with a very clean uh, watcher fight. And so we're also now on the last set, just as quantum. And taking here, taking probably a, a good idea. Safety heal. Ooh, I'm barely missing that. Ah. It's a very clean watcher fight so far on both sides. Both on 3 HP. Never mind 2. Never mind 1. Uh, but they're dead, it's fine. Yeah. No fear on our side, just taking one damage after another. Just throwing safety out the window, but. Surviving Literally again. no fear, okay. Pulling ahead. <laughs> Yikes. That's a 22 trio apart from each other, and so I take the elevator race. <laughs> <laughs> Which you should win, but... And calling up the elevator for later inventory drop or drain drop, who knows. There is a pretty sizable lead right now, but this can all change with our friend Umu coming up. That's two more seconds plus a long extra, I think. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how much time uh, Shlebi Cycle loses in peaks coming up in just a few seconds, but minutes. I am not preparing the curses. I am just saying our friend Umu can change everything. Your friend, I, I don't consider Umu a friend. I mean, keep your friends close, put your enemies closer? Question mark? Yeah, but that doesn't make Umu my friend. Still my enemy. But you have to pretend Umu is your friend. HK. Never. Not worth it. So uh, with a nice Dreamer drop there. As we see Quantum also going for it. Uh, and Quantum oh slot no, blocks. Getting no. stuck. No. Always very scary to see, which. I don't you know have if to immediately, this... You have to immediately quit out. Oh yeah. my gosh. Losing a bit of time there. I don't know. Is there a reason to uh, let the elevator go up again? Instead of just letting it go... Go down? I think he misclicked, potentially. I mean, Quantum did uh, let it go up again twice, so... Can I can... No, I can't see. Oh, they can't see the intro. That's what you mean. What did they? As mentioned earlier, both rounds now heading towards a Raptor skip, and maybe we'll see right side a bit more inconsistent, but a bit faster on this patch. I I am for some reason expecting a right side attempt out of Sawa. I could be wrong. Oh. But I feel. I think Sawa always attempts right side. Oh, you let it, pull, let it go up again so the ceiling pushes you off the elevator. Interesting, I did not know that. But it's also scared to the uh, get soft block. Yep, right side attempt. Oh, and very nice it. pick up. Oh, so, uh, such a gamer. Going for the Jennifer Pogo. No, missing the Jennifer Pogo. I did not know that was a thing, but that would have been very nice to see. You've never seen Jennifer Pogo? I've never seen Jennifer Pogo, nope. <gasps> oh, it okay. is so swag. It is actually so cool. Those are barely at the ledges both times. And Quantum heading for... Left, left side. That's all, but also way more consistent. And it might be yeah. way easier. Very nice. And now we see so we're getting all of the Geo that we... Oh, mostly of the Geo that we need for the run. At Lem. Helmet Very nice yeah, the, the bench fly was a little low for Quantum. Mm -hmm. But now, let's see, somewhere heading towards back to King Station, while it's Quantum now entering Lamb Shop to also get the money and uh, yeah, Sawa now has enough Geo for the Vault Skip you need. Uh, 200, uh, 2357, I think. Matt? 
Yes. I uh, don't know. Don't ask yeah. me. Yeah, you get uh, 43 zero from the uh, devouts. Very nice uh, Photoshop jump. So, you and do... escape movement. Quantum still in need of a lot of geo. Yeah, six eight from both devouts, but if you want to do devout skip, you do have to have a bit less. <laughs> yeah. Nice fire Otherwise, bell from Solo. And no, uh, you do get forty three from both devouts. I'm pretty sure that devout uh, uh, enemy. Ooh, quantum getting push up, drop and falling down. Pretty sure that enemy oh, geo is um, geo. uniform on this uh, patch. Quantum almost getting sniped by the Rava. E. I mean, health doesn't uh, health doesn't matter on the split right now anymore because, as you saw on South side, you just immediately bench in dirt mouth before buying lantern. Well, but getting sniped is no fun. Who? You're just you're just trying to get to the bench. The Rava needs to leave you alone. But still, props for the rubber for hitting the snipe. Ooh. Sawa taking a hit. Only one. Very nice. Though. Very nice. And wiggles for the quick gate. Very nice. Now heading into one of the best areas in the game, being Crystal Peak. I disagree, but that's fine. You just dislike Sean and uh, the C dash cycle. <laughs> I dislike literally everything about Crystal Peak. Very nice Pog X. Really nice hitless infected bench fly room from Quantum. And you see the lockdown on Quantum side for the quick cape. And will we see Dog Cycle on our side? Yeah, we do see Dog nice. We'd love to see it. It's not easy to hit, so. Who also did not get hit there. Is that Shane the lower one? Sean. Or... Yeah, no, Shane Sean. is the lower one. Yeah. Sean is the upper one. Yeah, Shane oh. and Sean. Oh, quantum missing. Nice. Okay, gets Pogax, so second try. Yeah. Oops. Sour dashing a bit too far there. Oops. And not getting to the one again. Dream yeah. no Dream drop. Dream they'll drop. Will we see another dark cycle? No, the days of type. Laser RNG to be me. Now, let's heading towards the last segment of Crystal Peak being the C dash room, which I think uh, we shouldn't see any problems there. Yeah, no Schlebby cycle on our side. Hopefully, under pad? Let's go, nice. easy under pad. And Once now. I'm on to with a Dream Nail drop, very nice. I mean, you don't need more than 2 HP in this area, so. No, you don't. And Missing even... the drop, slashing the wall. <laughs> Can't kill a wall. I have to agree with uh, chat here. Imagine doing acid under pet, but not uh, C dash under pet. True. Couldn't be me. No, couldn't be you. But we also quantum so far. Very. Oh, quantum going for a damage cycle. And under pet, let's go! Love to see damage to cycle also. Just a bit slow, but also very viable and smart for all problems. Let's see if Sawa goes for the underplat in the acid. True. We will see, and just. Not even going for an inventory drop, just yeah. falling. No infected grosser in the transition. Very good. And Quantum now also heading back to crossroads. And we will be getting to your friend Umu in a bit. <laughs> also, good area control on quantum side there. Uh, no, no underplat. Tisk tisk Sawa. It's... Not totally kidding. <laughs> the right side raptor is made up for it. It's fine. Yeah. And they tend to Jennifer Pogo. Nice Ooh, try to drop. And does quantum go for it? No. No. Sad. But yeah. Also, yeah, very nice drop on quantum side as well. And the up slash. So, uh, this split so far very even. 
Love to see it, Bart. Um, sadly, well, sadly, it's relative. So being roughly a bit more than a minute ahead at the moment, so... That's, that is, uh, yeah, that's almost four cycles now for Umu, which I don't think we will uh, see a seven cycle on Sabah's side, or six cycle, depending on how Quantum's fight goes. Also, Sabah does a, in my opinion, very interesting uh, two cycle setup. Uh, you will see what I mean in just a few seconds. Because usually most of us just head up to the top platform and then kind of stay on the center one, like Quantum is doing now. And then Sawa is just running around the arena. But it works. If it works, it works. Exactly. Oops. I think that... Oh no, wait, that's not the extra. <laughs> this... Right? I don't think it is an extra. Yeah, no, that's just Sawa's weird setup. You <laughs> But got all the damage that they needed, I think. Ooh, uh, I couldn't uh, tell on Quantum's side if he got all of them. Yeah. I'm also not sure if Sawa got the first double hit, but at least has the minimum of six hits in my if I count it correctly. But is missing soul, so. And that is an extra on Sawa's side, I think. Sawa's setup makes me feel better about mine. Yeah, I think that one was just. Growing up, I did not know they would, was, were doing that as well. I think that was just accidental. Yeah, Quantum should have a nice uh, three cycle there, and I think Sao should also get three cycles. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Very good Um. Good Umu fights on both sides. I think uh, Quantum having a bit of better RNG there. And inventory drop. Ooh, wow. Fancy. Yeah. Can be scary if you can't to let you do dunk in the asset, which you don't want to see. Not in a race. Mm -mm. Also not if you don't if you're not in a race, you never wanna dunk in the asset. No. <laughs> yeah, but. Now the routes will differ because uh Quantum is going for QGA route uh, according to the questionnaire while Sauber will be doing deep nets with Sport Room which loses a few seconds getting to a trap bench, but saves a lot of time um, on THK. Which Sauber also goaded by 5 seconds be just before the race. Ooh, Spore Shroom is based. It's based. Right. For those that don't know, Spore Shroom is absolutely broken at 1.4. Yeah, it, just... It, it just destroys THK. <laughs> yeah, so. I think the comps up for uh, QGA route is, I think, a low 140 or high 130 for THK. But I don't know the comps up uh, for Sporshroom, but Sauer has a 108 THK fight now, so... That's a lot of time made up just by using a broken charm. Sure. Oh, sure. The flukeness of any percent. Oh, quantums. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Oops. <laughs> I'm also getting a few jumps there. I mean, I'm <gasps> all for up slashing his bellies. Oh, that's it. Oh, this is truly beautiful. <laughs> this is blessed. Oh, man. But sadly, the sink will leave soon because Sawa is going a different route. Or quantum, whoever. Then Sawa dashing in. Oh, he's getting hit by multiple jellies. And okay. No double dash and a dunk on two dunks on Quantum's side. Oh, Quantum on one. Oh. First try. Wow, he stopped so early. I mean, wow. it's for the it's for the transfer, so it is fine. That just it looks you... very spooky. If you know what you're doing, it is fine. If you don't know what you're doing, yeah, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, it's fine. If you don't, it's not fine. Exactly, it's that simple. He's on 2 HP, though, going into Petra Arena. I it's... am scared. It can be scary, yeah. Even with all the movement afterward, 2 HP. Oh, yeah, well, going for left side Petra. Interesting. Yeah. No it's issue there. Picking up the room, heading into yeah. Deep Nest. Quantum a so too low on Geo for Devout Skip, or maybe going for finding extra Geo here and there, even in Beast and later. 
But you see someone navigating deep nest. I already don't know where we are in deep nest anymore. Nice dream heal drop. Not even opting for a heal. So it's, it's fine. What I might go for the uh, advanced gift and the quit out and then and then just collecting the missing 14 geo somewhere and then. I think the spiders on the wall that split gift you between 6 and 7 geo. Ooh, very nice dream drop on server side. 6 and 7 geo, so two of those, or just collecting the geo rocks in a uh, deep net, uh, beast and R fine as well. No, really nice so far from mm. Quantum. Yeah. Saw so, uh, dunking in spikes? Yeah. Okay. okay, Quantum, please! I would hope Quantum does heal now because. The ah, positioning a of this, yeah, that's why they can be in a very awkward position for you at some point. Oh you my god, Quantum! Oh. I did not know that. I didn't know you could do that. I did not know you could fireball that through the wall. Holy cow. You learn something new every day. We will definitely be seeing a den quit- Oh no, Quantum! Oh. So, um, this drop um, is negating the time loss that uh, Sauer has compared to the deepness drought. And oh no, and he's still on one. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, and I find it interesting that uh, Quantum is not going for the heal there. So, I'm very, very confident in what he's doing. Good luck to see you. I, uh, am scared. Sauer making their way to trap bench. Yeah. Please. Oh my god. We did not curse anything. Wait, so uh, was safe at trap bench. Yeah. The spider respawn. Quantum, oh, yeah, that... please. Okay. Second time's the charm. Yeah, I'm not going for the dash against the wall this time. Makes sense. Just. Oh my god. Okay. I can breathe. <laughs> Maybe it was intended oh because Quantum now has enough Geo for the vault skip. Ah, it was intentional. Yes. Yeah, of course. But we will still see a quit out on uh, quantum side, hopefully. And Sour taking the healing. Yeah, of course. Sour goes for the vault skip. Very, very clean devout skip there. Possible because hitboxes are weird on devouts. Oh, C dash glitch. You'll have to see it. What is it? 1%? Very unfortunate, but still and fine. Quit out. And very smart decision because then on 1 HP is uh, not a smart idea. Because it, you are, cannot do the quick kill on 1 HP and you can't do the skip on 1 HP either. So I was saving the grub. I'd love to see it. And now heading towards the last devout with 1 HP more than you need. <laughs> Quantum over the first devout, very nice. Oh, yeah. getting hit by the spider. Needs to be collect a bit of soul on the way, but that should be fine. There are enough. Uh, possibilities to get soul on the way. Or not. <laughs> but very nice spike over there. And I think Quantum needs five four, more hits or four more hits. And oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh no! no! The stupid old devout RNG of crawling oh, back. No. Yeah, so. I think as long as Sawa does not die to THK, this solidifies uh, Sawa as the as getting to pool uh, one in top 16. And I think uh, Quantum will also, if he loses, not be uh, getting into top 16. But maybe THK goes so badly on Sawa's side that uh, Quantum can catch back up again. It is possible. We we need to make sure Quantum gets his shade back. Yeah. So, so we're now switching to Swash Room, so uh, they can absolutely bully THK. Getting hit by that devout again? What? No, Quantum, no. Yeah. Just... I saw what you were thinking. No. Not freeing the shade before and just try getting getting it later. So. But yeah. This is very risky, and I... It paid yeah, off, but oh my goodness. So, but Quantum now also uh, getting into Hera. As we see Sawa arriving in Dirtmouth, heading towards uh, Black Egg Temple. Quantum uh, typing in chat. 
Very understandable. <laughs> Very understandable, Quantum. Yeah, the Devourer does. I think it happened to you in a run as well in a race, right? Yes. I don't know, did that, did yes. It was it, that bot also crawling back? Yeah, it just like, um, it like traps you for some reason. I don't know how to explain it. I've never had it happen until the race. Yeah, so it just closes off the space behind it. There is a tiny gap, but not uh, big enough for you to uh, go through and yeah. So now more than two and a half minutes ahead of Quantum. And then, I'm curious Gotta if Sauer is on a PB pace or not. Gotta love these steps. I think Sauer could actually be on PB, PB pace right now. Quantum got his shade back. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely PB pace, yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, THK fight is 108 on Sauer's gold right now. I think PB is a 132. Um, so we now see the ooh, open at the correct Pretty payment. frame. Yeah. But it will not stay long because you want to take a lot of damage to just heal it back up again. And you... contrary to um, the what we usually want, you don't want to see dashes because you want THK to stay in the spore cloud to just in itself. Um, fairies are fine. Missing the Trying first skip there. Skip that. Ah, uh, yeah, it is viable because it just is no dash and jump back is also very annoying. And another dash. So far, four sour bad RNG on the THK. But you see, just all these uh, fortune hits, this one HP gone from THK. Getting this next screen skip very good. Quantum entering black and red. Let's get some hollow Ds in chat, please. Oh, yeah, exactly. Get hollow Ds for both runners now on the final surges of the run. Yeah, but uh, this won't. That it won't be a PB. Yeah. Oh, the also, wiggles! The, the wiggles, wiggles from Sawa! Which, if you didn't know, sadly not a PB, but very close to it. Um, so, that is one thing Sawa wants to do around. The wiggles actually, every turn around, every movement, stacks even more damage onto THK, even more hits are applied that way. So, very nice wiggles at the very end for a lot of damage for the kill. And being roughly 16 seconds behind PB, very good for a race. Okay. Insanely good for a race. GG's. GG's Let's so watch Quantum up. finish up yeah. Hollow Knight here using Shaman Stone, not Spore yeah. Shroom. Very nice double so far. You want to see a lot of dashes, no parries. Also, no teleports. Jump backs are okay. Because, yeah, teleports. Difficult to react to because you don't really know in which direction THK is going to go. Let me see. First stream. And parry two. Uh, yeah. Being now a the... berserk, one of the fastest runs of the tourney. Very nice. Yeah. Force room is just insane. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't believe Force room is a uh, busted charm, you were proven wrong. <laughs> yeah, you, you just saw it and getting the wiggles with that. The wiggles are so silly. Yeah. So far, really clean Hollow Knight from Quantum right now. Spread attack in itself, another attack you'd like to see because it's just an easy way to get uh, two fireballs in as well or three if you have the soul. Good damage on the jump there. Yeah, really clean up slashes. Gotta be Gotta careful be. with the pillars because on line 1, 2, 2, 1 they do double damage. Getting a screen skip, let's We'd go. love to see it. Quantum finishing up the fight as well. Should be that very soon for THK. Oh, getting a jump. Unlucky. And tribute. Yeah. GG is too quantum as well. So. Both of us are finishing up. Quantum Very mode. unfortunate beast dead in there for yeah. quantum. In general, unfortunate one at some points, but. It sadly duo does happen sometime, and one of, it was sadly one of these days for quantum as well. But yeah. We will be. Getting the, the runners into the, the voice pod if they want to join for an interview. And yeah, there we have Sauer. GG Sauer on the win, on your solidifying your place in top 16 as seed 1. Uh, top seed 1, sorry. Seed 3. GG. And Quantum's in waiting. GG's Quantum. quantum. Right. Thank you. It was. Fucking horrible this time around. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah that was a that was a beast end of all time for sure. Uh, the fucking devout went backwards twice. <laughs> oh, true, and also sadly sliding off the wall and falling down in deepness as well. Also, uh, at that time, I, I was so tilted that I didn't care. I was about to forfeit. <laughs> I was thinking, if I stop running, <laughs> mm. <laughs> what if? No, understandable. GG <laughs> on finishing the run, though. I know that's hard. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was a thing actually. GG, Sawa. I was watching the run at the end. Interesting. <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't care about my run anymore. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Should racing watches the girl opponent. Normal day. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I, don't know. Awesome. I, I don't know what to say about my run. I, I have a um, way better run before the journey. I, w I was doing 35 paces all the time, and now oh. this. I don't know. <laughs> It's the race nurse and the devout yeah. being mean to you. It happens. Yeah. And the shape being mean to you, which we can all blame on Shelby because she cursed it into existence. I did not. <laughs> you did. You yeah. sure you didn't? I am sure I did not, I promise. Mm, I'll watch it. <laughs> but. Uh, Zert has a question for Sawa. Was your run PB pace for a long time? PB pace up to Umu, and then oh. the three cycles do that. Very nice. I have a question for the Umu fight. Do you usually lure it up on the second cycle, or was that more an accident? Uh, yes, to the second platform for a good, for a better, a nicer dream nail, but no, not that high. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was unfortunate Umu, because I think you got at least one extra or two. One extra. Ah, okay, one. Good. But otherwise, very nice run on your side. But I think THK a bit unlucky at the end, but beautiful wiggles as well. And beautiful wiggles. Yeah. Well, GG's to both runners. Do you guys have anything to comment on your runs? or? Um, not from me, actually. <laughs> I want to forget my run. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want it to ever exist. <laughs> uh, I'll, try, I'll try my best in top 16. That's about it. We will leave you. And top 16 should start, I think, sometime next week ish, if I'm not wrong. Just like I mentioned at the beginning, three more races, and then we have finished with the pools. And then we will see Sauer again. Quantum set, I think. Thing? Yeah, no, I think one was sadly dropping now. But so, GG's, and thank you for participating in the tournament and having some good races. Yeah. But. All right. Are there any other questions in chat? Looks like Quantum just answered Zert's question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... In chat. <laughs> if you want, I can explain why I go for left. <laughs> Because right side is hard and horrible. <laughs> because it's fucking horrible. <laughs> I tried way many times right, uh, right side uh, with Sawa's um, Strat and I didn't uh, get it consistent like never. I, I got it like one out of ten runs and I was like, I'm not doing this on run <laughs> or maybe in PvP, but I'm not doing this in a race against anyone. <laughs> I don't feel understandable. like it's understandable. Definitely understandable. Yeah, definitely. I think you usually do. Do you usually do a damage per cycle in peak, or do you just do it because twenty can be scary sometimes? I normally use the tanking method, but this time I was so pissed off. I was like, I, I, I'm not doing anything that can kill me right now. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely understandable. I was swearing. <laughs> <laughs> saying, oh, no. what a shit run. <laughs> oh, no. I was so pissed off after Crossroads, after Green Pad, after I fall in the office. I was like, no, 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 this is not happening again. <laughs> Don't worry, both of you dropped into the acid at one point there. Oh, so what did as well. <laughs> Couple acid baths today, yes. <laughs> I don't feel so bad then. <laughs> 
but but I was so nervous. I, I was so mad at the run that I decided to do the damageless cycle, just in case. Be because I wasn't being consistent with my uh, with my controller anyways. Uh, I was dropping, I was doing bad, cl uh, bad climbs, I don't know. And after, uh, it was in Lurian, I tried to do the inventory drop and I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the the, yeah. Oh. the soft lot, yeah. Anyways, it GG's was fun both to runners. Definitely, GG's. Thank you for racing. Yes. Thank you, Max, for restreaming, and thanks for the emergency com Schlebi. Of course. And, but if there are no more questions in chat or from the comms, or if the runners have any questions for each other. I think we will be done with the stream for today. Mm. Doesn't sound like a question remaining. No. <laughs> and I think we will be back on this uh, with the next race in I think twenty four hours between Ashy and Hermothity. Yeah, uh, yeah, roughly t well twenty three hours. I think we're just trying to find next a race. Right target. Give me a sec. Actually, next race, 25 minutes from now. Wait, what? It is? What? Oh. Then we better leave the place. <laughs> wait, why? Oh, wait, it's Sunday. True. It's... <laughs> I, was, I was thinking it's Saturday. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. The next race is right now, basically. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah then. Excellent. Thank you for just a few more minutes for the next race between Ash and Amorphity. <laughs> well, I, I'm leaving. I, uh, I have to go anyways. Yeah. Have a nice rest of the day, and once again, <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you, you, you both, for, rest uh, for commentating, and Marcus for restreaming. And Gigi is out again. You did an amazing run. See you all. Bye-bye. Now.